All right, so as you can see up in the top right corner of the journey, we want to make a bedroll. So we'll go over to the menu button, uh, scroll over to right here. Uh, so I still need a couple of branches. There's a couple ways of getting branches. Like I showed you, they are laying on the ground. Or you can use get them from trees. So if you equip your axe and just uh, use your right trigger or your right bumper, you will start chopping wood off the tree. And it will trees will give you wood. Uh, they will give you uh, bugs. They will give you branches. As you see, it shows everything that you're getting off the tree down at the bottom right corner. And I do have enough to make a bedroll. So we're going to go ahead click the menu to go into your crafting come over here to the bedroll you got two you got a leather rawhide one and then you just got a a basic fiber bedroll so we're gonna go ahead and just click a to craft that and while we're at it we are gonna craft a torch because that is also one of the journey um, things that we need to do so okay so we went ahead and crafted that bedroll and now we want to go ahead and put it down on the ground so again it doesn't go into your inventory so we're going to go over to the quick menu by pressing the left bumper and bringing this up uh right right joystick will do that okay and i clicked on the wrong one but that is another journey that we did need to use a torch now i'm going to unequip it by going back over there and doing the same thing bedroll highlight it and as you can see, it's on the ground right there. Uh, it will have an X if you can't place it. Uh, once you place it by putting the, okay, the right bumper. Uh, so as you can see, uh, when you put the when you put your bedroll down, that is your spawn point from now on. So in the game, you have two spawn points. You have a bedroll spawn point and a bed spawn point. Once you're able to build beds, so you could have a bed and a a. Uh, at your main base and you put your uh, bedrolls down when you're out adventuring and then when you if you when you die not if you die when you die you have a choice of going to your bedroll or back to your base uh, you could also pick these bedrolls up by clicking over them see if you hold the X button down uh, you have this um, the wheel menu come up you could this will destroy it this has interact with it this is to cancel out of this menu or you can just pick it up so you can move it later uh, just a quick warning about not having a spawn point active uh, if you die you you lose all your equipment and you go back to the desert where you uh, where you start it or one of those start points in the desert they may not be as close as you were uh, to begin with to start off with when you came into the game the first time Next thing we're going to do, okay, as you can see up top right in the journey, we have slay. So we're going to have to slay a monster, uh, spend knowledge points, and then get a dedicated weapon. We're going to learn sword, so we're just going to click on it. And uh, so now I've gained a level. As you see, the icon has turned green, so I'm able to build this. So uh, as, as you saw, I unlocked the sword, so I'm going to go ahead and go into my inventory again by clicking the menu button. And uh, whenever you unlock an item, it just automatically goes into your crafting menu under this. So the, the further you get into the game, this, this menu will definitely get a lot more stuff in it. And you can actually, if you look up there, if you click your left uh, uh, joystick down, you could actually uh, just um, break it down by the different categories instead of having everything show up at once. And just keep clicking. And it'll go through, and then once you get all the way over, it will it will come back to showing everything at, again. Uh, so what we want to do is come over here and see if we have enough to make a sword. Okay, so we're going to need, uh, if you see that I have stones and twine, they are kind of grayed out. So I do need to make twine, um, and I'm only able to craft one. I'm going to craft it while I pick up more, and I need to pick up rocks too. Uh, so with the pickaxe... Um, we'll go ahead and click the left bumper and select the, the stone pick and just come over to these the, the bigger rocks like this and just start hammering on them and that one isn't even uh, breaking okay this one is so yeah just start hammering on them and these bigger ones you can uh, use the pickaxe on these these smaller brownish looking ones if you just click X on the smaller ones that are laying on the ground you could also pick them up that way and now I need some more fiber so 
come over here and just click X while I'm standing inside these. Now watch, now if, if your health starts to get too low like mine is right now, if, if you let it run out, you only have a certain amount of time to get something to eat before you die. So what I'm going to do is, I don't know if I have, let me see, uh, yes I do have, so I'm just going to keep eating these and they really don't do much for health but as you can see they are doing a little bit uh and i'm gonna drink the rest of my water that should be it for my water yep all right so we're gonna go back into the crafting menu and we do want to make that sword to get the dedicated weapon uh so we do have 20 rocks and we need five of these so i'm gonna go craft three more i think that will only give me five okay so we're gonna go ahead and craft this dedicated weapon and uh so that the, the weapon thing, it did open up the sword in this. Also, I got a, a stone club, so it's your choice of whichever one you want to use. And in the game, uh, the different style of weapon does do different types of damage to creatures. So some, so if you're fighting skeletons, use a club because you want to use a, a blunt force weapon on a skeleton and not really a sword or anything like that. Uh, and other ones, you know, you want to use the, the, the sharp weapons on makes sense so we'll go ahead and click a and as that's crafting uh i'm gonna continue i'm gonna get rid of my pick out of my hand and i need to get some water so i'm gonna run over to the river that's up here now watch these uh these are npcs right there and uh if you get close enough to them you will aggro them and they will come attack you they are they are definitely um not hard to fight but they're not easy if more than one gets on you at the beginning of the game uh so once you come over and get into the river if you click the x button you will automatically drink the water that's in the uh the river and as you can see over on the top right that my uh my thirst icon is now green um um, um you got that sated uh symbol and cooling down uh you now you want to fill up your water skin so go ahead and hit the left bumper Look at your water skin and just release. That filled up your water skin completely. So now if I hit my left bumper again, you see the blue line underneath the water skin. It is completely full. Uh, so now I do want to slay a monster. Uh, and then I'm going to do the eat a filling meal. Uh, because we'll have to build a fireplace. Um, hopefully this guide helps you out. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them up below. And I will continue to make some more guides. To help you guys out um and once again this is magic flying potato you guys have a great time out there exploring conan exiles i am oot